US has been involved in testing experimental drugs on volunteers. From the ranks of the Ukrainian military, the commander of Russia's nuclear, biological and chemical protection forces Lt. Gen. Igor Kirilov alleged during a media briefing on Thursday. The experimental drug testing came within the so-called UP-8 project, exposed by the Russian military earlier this month. We continue to publish information about the research with the participation of Ukrainian military personnel. I would like to note that such work is prohibited in the United States and is carried out by the military outside of the country, the official stated. According to data published in the Bulgarian media, about 20 Ukrainian soldiers died during the experiments in the Kharkov laboratory alone, and another 200 were hospitalized, Kirilov added, while claiming that more than 4,000 people were involved in the testing in Ukraine. The official presented a document purportedly sent by a Ukrainian military attaché in the U.S. to the country's defense ministry in April last year. The document highlights a meeting between the attaché and representatives of the U.S.-Canadian company Skyma, which is involved in AI-related research. According to the document, the company demonstrated to the Ukrainian officials its solutions in long-range observation, as well as the Deep Drug AI, a system used for screening and developing drugs. The system performs the work of 60 person years per day, greatly reducing the manual labor hours to generate new target molecules from existing, pre-approved drugs, according to its developers. The received documents confirm an attempt to test previously untested drugs on the Ukrainian soldiers. We are talking about the screening system for pharmaceuticals deep drug, which had not passed the licensing procedure in the US and Canada, Kirillov stated. The particular cynicism of American sponsors lies in the fact that the developer, the Skymount company, offered to purchase the system on a commercial basis, despite the fact that employees of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine were involved as volunteers, he added. Ukraine is not the first country to be used for U.S. military-backed pharmaceutical research, Kirillov noted. In 2010, for instance, Indonesia shut down the U.S. Navy Medical Center in Jakarta, which was apparently involved in a similar project over numerous violations, he added.